springtime here, it's gorgeous. Got all sorts of flowers popping off. And uh, we're testing out some new gear. Kobo's with us today. We're backpacking in the desert with Kobo. He's very excited. He hasn't, he's been hunkered down all winter. And uh, we're gonna go have some fun, all right? Let's go. I had to bust out the hoodie because it's getting baked over here. So using it for sun protection, not for warmth. We're making our way. We've gone about three and a half miles so far and uh, starting to feel it just, we're kind of not really used to the, the heat. So we've been in the winter up in Flagstaff for months hunkered down. And this is kind of intense out here. So hopefully we'll make the pass soon and then uh, get in some shade. But right now we're just baking away. Yeah, nice work, babe. You can see the other side of the arch from here. Oh yeah. It's kind of cool looking. Cool. Cool little spot. I'm testing my gear. You are. Is it testing you? Yes. Uh oh. <laughs> Feeling some hot spots and different yeah. things. Yep. 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 That can happen. Oh man. <sighs> Great landscape. Yeah, it's beautiful. Rugged out here. Never would guess that we're like 30 miles from Phoenix. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's so close. Yeah. Looks like it goes back that way? Yeah, it goes that way. Okay. Well, we've been hiking for most of the day. It's ended up being a little bit farther than I thought, but we've got some really gorgeous rocks here in the background, and we're kind of at a convergence of two creeks, which is really rare for the desert out here, uh, that the water is flowing so much. So really excited to find a spot to be and enjoy this cool place for the night. Oh, 
get yeah. in there. That'll be fine. Hi, sweetie. Oh, are you so tired? Do you want some food? Are you hungry? Oh, <laughs> come here. Come on. Come here. You hungry? Get you some food, huh? Sure. Cool. Who might want to do that anyway? Well, with our pillows, I guess it'll... They had a hard day. Yeah. Oh, did you have a hard day? I think you did. <laughs> you did good. You did so good. Beautiful spot. Yeah. She's cool. It's great. Get out of here, mosquito. They just came out. Yeah. Look at you two. We're growing out. Oh, that's my fork. <laughs> Kobe wants all the love right now. He wants a lot of attention. <laughs> so we're trying this new setup. This is from Zen Vivi. We both get to sleep in this bag which I'm going to be a big fan of, I think, but already Kovu is clearly the biggest fan. <laughs> He's such a big fan because of this. He is. Tired boy. He is so tired. He's the definition of a tired pup. <laughs> So I'm getting to test uh, a new piece of gear that I've been actually very excited to test out. And it was the perfect opportunity last night because it is this dual person sleeping bag from Zen Bivy. So I've used their light bed before that I have been so thrilled with. Zen Bivy asked if I wanted to test out the two person one, in which case I thought, well, absolutely. I have a hiking partner that I really enjoy and I'm kind of romantically inclined with. It's got two 25 inch wide mattresses, which means connected up, that's 50 inches of mattress and it's 77 inches long from head to toe. This is a three person tent and it fills, fills this tent up really well. So there's basically like a two part system to this. It's a, it is a top sheet that goes over your sleeping mattresses and that connects independently to the mattresses and it has this really cool pillow barn slash hood area. So 
this is very comfortable to just kind of casually have your head underneath when the temperatures drop and it's chilly. One thing this is also great for is it keeps the pillows in their place. This is actually connected. So there's a middle point right down here that a loop goes underneath the mattress connects to here and then goes across the other side. So these mattresses can only slide apart by a minimal amount. So it actually keeps it together really well. Christy, what did what did you think? Because this is this is a big part of it, you know, getting to sleep with your hiking partner. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> it was so cozy. I actually really loved not being in, you know, the mummy bag. Yeah. Because even though I slept pretty straight, I didn't feel confined. Yeah. And that was great. And they got to just wrap around <laughs> and get warm whenever I felt a little chilly. <laughs> yeah. Which is great. Um, yeah, the freedom. Oh, I laid down on these mats last night and I felt like I was floating on a cloud. And... I don't know if it's just because the mats, I mean, the mats I usually use, I'm like, yeah, these are fine. They're great. They're comfortable. But I loved sleeping on these mats. Kind of felt like sleeping in a regular bed. That's, that's the best part is it does yeah. feel like a regular bed. So this whole system is from Zen Bivy. So the sleeping bag, the sheet, and then if you look here on the underside, these are the light bed mattresses also from Zen Bivy. But so this is the strap that actually connects uh, the mattresses. These mattresses, this is an R5 mattress. And the, the only downside to them is that they can be a little bit heavier and bulkier as a system, but they're so, so comfortable. It's also really cool because if you are backpacking with a dog, it gives the dog a really nice place to be. This fills up a huge amount of the tent and, you know, our dog wasn't like half on a mattress, half off of a mattress or something like that, where it's kind of not very pleasant for, for the dog. This was, this was perfect. Hey, buddy. Did you like sleeping on the bed? He says, I still love the bed. He's like, I don't want it. I don't want you to pack it up. Hey. Oh. Oh. Your nose looks really big and long right now. Oh. Yeah. Wanna go for a hike? You go on a hike? Oh! <laughs> oh my gosh. Christy, it's time to get grilled. What do you think about the Osprey Aura 65? I'm gonna be completely honest. Uh, the first moment I put, tried, like, was starting to put it on, even the first moment I saw it, I was not very confident. <laughs> uh, looking at the straps and feeling the padding and everything, I was like, I don't know. This is this might suck. <laughs> And um, let me tell you, the first day did. The first day did suck. Um, I had rubs and bruising on my hips really bad to the point where I unclipped it the rest of the way. Uh, shoulders were fine. I didn't have as much weight in this as I normally do in my other 65 liter. Um, so the, the fact that I was hurting with less weight was a little bit of a disappointment. Today, much better. Like, I think I figured some things out to help distribute the weight a little bit better. It was more on my shoulders than how I usually like to pack. It seemed to be okay and I've been doing just fine today. I love these top two um, zipper pockets. Uh, I also love the way the pack actually, um, it kind of holds itself straight up. You know, if you're on even ground, it doesn't just fall over each way because the uh, hip belt actually creates like a stand. So nothing, you know, when you're coming in here, you don't have to worry about anything falling out. And I, I really enjoy that. <laughs> um, I also really love uh, this meshy back 
I felt like it's really hot out here. We're in Phoenix and uh, I still sweat a little bit, but once the breeze came through, you could actually, you could really feel that cool um, air coming through and cooling off your back. So you're not just like straight up sweating um, the whole time. Yeah. So I'm... I, I feel like, if I can chime in for a second, I feel like Osprey's airflow system great. is best on the market. Yeah. So I think that's where they really excel, is yeah. like having, the way that they designed that is, is really, really great. This is a really easy system for tightening and loosening the torso length. Basically fit it at the trailhead in about three Yeah, minutes. I like that you can fit it while it's on you. You don't have to take it off to then lengthen or shorten the torso, which actually saves a lot of time and <laughs> annoyance. Yeah, because you're, you're not, it takes out the guessing. You can just mm -hmm. kind of get it dialed in on mm -hmm. your back.